So you've got the calling and you want to dedicate your work life to the pursuit of securing information systems. Well, congratulations on your choice and ambition. It's an extremely satisfying career and a job I genuinely love, but I didn't get here overnight. There's just a lot of things that you need to know. So let's take a dive into how to get started in cybersecurity as a total beginner in 2021. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So cybersecurity, information security, or whatever umbrella term you wish to use is a broad industry with many different areas of expertise, all of which require their own specific set of skills, but they're built on the same core foundation of computing skills. Some specialties are digital forensics and incident response, security architecture, security management, uh, governance, risk and compliance, uh, security engineering, defensive operations, and of course, everybody's favorite, offensive operations, which is penetration testing or otherwise known as ethical hacking. But despite all these different specialties, they leverage the same foundational core level technical skills and security principles. While this can be seen as a bit of a gatekeeper, once you have attained those core skills, switching between areas of specialty can be a lot easier, which gives you a lot more options later on on your career. So in my opinion, I like to look at it like this. I see three main pillars which you need to build in order to start building your cybersecurity career. And these are one, your core technical skills. This includes programming, scripting, networking, operating systems, etc. Two, experience. Almost every job within the IT industry is relevant to security, so it doesn't matter if you're a developer, a tester, a system admin, or even help desk. All of this experience is valuable and relevant. And lastly, certificates. This is where you start building on your core skills and experience to start specializing in your desired area of cybersecurity. While many universities have started offering cybersecurity majors to their computing courses, this will not be the silver bullet to instantly land you in a cybersecurity job. Some are lucky enough to do so, but many will require these three pillars to be built. So how should you build these pillars? Well, it's somewhat obvious, but let's go into it in a bit of detail. So to start with your core technical skills, this includes everything you tend to learn within an IT diploma or degree, and this seems to include things like a programming language, such as C Sharp, C++ or Java, a scripting language like Python or Ruby, uh, there's web foundations which you'll need, so HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, etc., uh, databases including MySQL, and networking which includes TCP IP, the OSI model, infrastructure, NAT, and all of that stuff. Uh, operating systems, so this is the basics of how Windows and Linux operates. So this includes things like the command line, services, processes, user accounts, privileges, and all of that. And a bit of hardware fundamentals. So it's important to know things like what a CPU is and what memory is, so you can start to understand what's ha happening on a physical layer as well as a virtual layer. And lastly, you have a few less interesting techie subjects like information policy, business skills, presentation skills, and things like that. Now, typically you can learn all of these within a IT degree or diploma, or you can start learning them yourself online for free or with freemium services like INE or Pluralsight or anything like that. So now we're gonna talk about experience. Getting on the job experience will prepare you in a way that studying just simply cannot. Studying is what you do to learn the tools and how to use them, but experience really teaches you when to use them and in what way. This is when you'll start to get a bit more creative with what you know in efforts to solve problems or to make processes more efficient. As mentioned, you could do almost anything within IT and it will be beneficial to your overall career development. The key is being able to see when you're getting a bit too comfortable and that's the signal that you need to move on. So certificates, when you've got a bit of experience and a bit of free time, it's time to start taking on some additional certificates. The IT industry moves too fast for traditional educational institutions to really keep up with the pace. And that's why there's just so much emphasis on certificates within the IT industry. 
This gives you the opportunity to fill out what areas of interest are most applicable to you in cybersecurity by checking out different courses and dipping your toe in the water a bit to see the type of work that you like. Again, INEM Plural site are good for this. Also, check out this fancy infographic developed by this Reddit user, which has a very good overall progression of all cybersecurity certificates and the links to each relevant course. So after you've completed a certificate or a few, it's time to start building up your professional network and start applying for entry-level cybersecurity jobs or see if you can take on additional responsibilities in your current role in efforts to transfer into a security team if your organization has one, or perhaps even build it yourself. Sadly, there's no exact science to this part. Depending on your country, city, culture, job market, there really is no way of knowing how long it will take you to land your first cybersecurity job. But if you're persistent, you have a strong LinkedIn presence, contribute to the security community, and continue to develop yourself, you will eventually get an opportunity. Cybersecurity is one of those areas where you really need to learn how to walk before you can run. Don't get impatient if it takes a long time to reach a goal. Continue to strive towards it and build yourself at any opportunity that you get. If you want to see more on my long journey to become a pen tester, you can find the video linked in the description or up here or something. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please hit that like button as it helps people like you find content like this and it helps me out in the process. Feel free to share your journey and how it's going in the comments below. I'd really love to see where, where you're all at and where you've come from. Anyway, I've been Jason from JasonSec. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.